Chris here with a movie money video. I know it's been a bit since I've done one of these, but I'm here. <laughs> um, this week we're talking about some of the most movies that we are most anticipating this year in 2017. And my list for that is kind of all over the place because like, I don't often go see things in theaters, and but I do have some movies from, that are going to be on theaters that I, I'm interested in seeing this year. And then the other ones are things that are, I think a couple of them are going straight to DVD actually um, after some film, film festival stuff. So. Yeah, let's just get into it, and I'll tell you guys what some of those are. Guardians of the Galaxy 2. I really enjoy Guardians of the Galaxy, and like, I remember, I probably said this on the channel, I was shocked that I enjoyed Guardians of the Galaxy. I didn't want to like it. I was just like, eh, that doesn't like something I'm going to be enjoying that much, but I did. Um, and so yeah, I'm excited for the next next movie. Like, I'm really, I'm excited to see it. Like, it's, I, hope, I hope it's as good as the first one, so yeah. Because I will kill you and everybody you love. Homecoming. I have been so excited for Spider-Man Homecoming since I saw Spider-Man in um, Avengers. I know, not Avengers, and Captain America Civil War. Yeah, that. Which I didn't like that movie that much, but I loved Spider-Man in that movie. And so I love Tom Holland playing Spider-Man. I'm so excited for Spider-Man Homecoming. And the trailer got me even more excited. I'm excited for Zendaya's character. I'm excited to just see this direction. I'm excited for, excited for Spider-Man with the wings. I'm just really excited for Spider-Man Homecoming, y'all. So, yeah. Du hast sie nie geliebt. Das ist nicht wahr. Wahrheit! Sag mir die Wahrheit. Jonathan is a German film that I think is going straight to DVD, actually, in the spring. He's about a guy who's taking care of his father who has cancer, um, and his family's kind of been crumbling for a while. He's having difficulty connecting with his father. His mom is having her own issues. Um, and then he meets this girl, Anka, and he starts falling for her, which is like, that's one kind of side of plot line. But then he finds out... Um, when, this, when his dad's childhood friend comes to visit, that this guy who's visiting and his father used to be lovers and that they were deeply in love. And so we have the son dealing with, like, the fact that he hasn't been able to connect with his father and then finding out this brand new information on his father and things like that. So it's, like, really flipping that generational conflict that, you know, that I see in um, gay-centric films pretty often and I really like the idea of that. I'm hoping I really enjoy this film. Like, I really do think I'm going to enjoy this film a lot, like, just from the trailer. It just sounds really, really good to me. With her and then you jump. Piece of cake. Let's go. No, 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 go. don't jump. Jason, that's not a piece of cake. It's happening. such a Power Rangers geek. I'm so excited for the new Power Rangers series, Ninja Steel, when it comes out this month. And I'm also super excited about this Power Ranger movie. I don't care how different it is from Power Rangers or now. I actually really like that it's a bit, quite a bit different um, for just from the, what we've seen in the trailer. Like, it's going to be very different. Like, I'm excited about that already. Like, I am so excited for this film. I cannot wait to see it. Like, ah, I just, I need it in my life. I'm so excited. Like, I've been excited since I heard about it over a year ago. <laughs> Like, it's just, I'm very excited for this to happen. I'm, I'm, I'm just, yes. Just yes. That's all I can say. I'm, like, the biggest Power Ranger geek. Actually, that's not true. That might be my friend Tanner from Tanner's Books and Beyonds, whose channel I'll link below, because he's an awesome guy. He has a Power Rangers book tag. If you haven't seen that, you should go check that out. But yeah, I love Power Rangers. So, um, yeah. Your mother has given up things, and maybe she didn't need to. She's not happy. What's happening? De Departure is a film set in France, but it's in English. It's about a mom named Beatrice and her son Elliot. Um, Beatrice's family is falling; her marriage is falling apart. Um, she's they're in France to sell their summer vacation home. Um, Elliot is on; it's basically figuring out his sexuality. He meets this guy out by the river named Clement, and he's dealing with it. Um, his sexuality and realizing he's gay and his feelings for Clement and also dealing with his family's marriage falling apart and his and his mother's kind of slow breakdown that she's going through 
um, over the marriage falling apart. And I just love family centric queer dramas. Like, I, like this just sounds really exciting for me. Like, I feel like this movie is gonna be so lit. <laughs> The film starts at the beginning of dawn on the first day that they're in town, and then it ends at the night on the sixth day. And I'm like, I, I was just like, okay, yeah, I'm in. Let's do it. I'm, this sounds exciting to me. So I'm super excited for departure. I think it's, pro it's definitely the movie that I'm probably most excited about that's coming out this year. Just cause I really love queer films, as you guys know from me talking on these in the past and then also um just other times where i've brought up queer films that i've enjoyed um so i'm really excited for this one all right that's it for the video i hope you guys enjoyed this movie money and you go and check out all the movie money and fair judgment i'm gonna have a link to the tumblr i'm gonna have a link to twitter and i'm gonna have a link to emily's channel who created the movie monday group go and check her out and i hope you guys enjoyed the video like i said and i will see you all next time bye <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.